In the last 12 months, 81% of companies have suffered a data breach, and that's going to carry on happening. But in the next year, what I'm expecting to see is much more extortion taking place. I think we're long past the day when we were asking ourselves, might we get hacked? It's not a case of if you get hacked, every company is getting hacked to a lesser or greater extent. There will be crimes being committed on your network, malware will be getting in, data will be being lost. You have to control it and try and minimize that threat as much as possible. Often, a data loss will be accidental. Users won't even realize that they're making a mistake by copying a confidential database onto a USB stick or sending themselves some work so they can work on it at home. You also need to consider what you're going to do when people leave your company. There will be some people who leave your company under a cloud and they might take a database with them. So when people leave, you need to make sure that they're not taking company assets with them. The biggest thing you can do to mitigate the risk is to know what is in your network. The best way to maintain a high level of security in the organization is to be able to control and keep under control the version of the software, the vulnerabilities for each software that is installed in all the devices, including the endpoints. These endpoints are not just the typical servers inside the organization. The endpoints are actually mobile, tablets, Wi-Fi, printers. And they can use these own devices, not just obviously in the office, but also at home. Normally, there is no policy to control, to update, to maintain the level of vulnerabilities and software to protect security. What you need is a layered approach. Different levels of defense inside your organization to minimize the risk as much as possible, because there's many ways in which attackers and hackers can get inside your organization. Vulnerability and patch management provide a solid foundation on which to build your security defenses. Application control through intelligent whitelisting can then be deployed as the primary defense, as it is very effective against zero-day attacks. Hard drive and media encryption addresses the risk of sensitive information falling into the wrong hands, even if it is accessed. And device control ensures laptops, tablets and phones can be wiped if they are lost. Antivirus can then sit on top of this pyramid, acting as a barrier to the known threats. This pyramid approach leaves organisations well placed to prevent, detect and respond to cyber attacks. The biggest mistake your company can make is believing that you're never going to get hacked. Companies are always getting hacked, always having security incidents. So you need to get proactive. You need to be able to detect when an incident has occurred and then respond effectively to it. 